Hello and welcome uli sa aking kusina. Gagawa tayo ngayon ng yema cake. And here are the following ingredients. Sifted cake flour, egg yolks, water, vegetable oil, salt, baking powder, vanilla, caster sugar. At para naman sa ating merang gagamit tayo ng um, egg whites. Kailangan nasa room temperature siya. Caster sugar, and cream of tartar. Kung wala kang cream of tartar, pwede lang wala. So, ang ating first step, mag-prepare lang tayo ng 2 10-inch round pan. So, ilagyan lang natin ng parchment paper or wax paper. Hindi natin to i-grease. And then, mag-preheat na tayo ng oven sa 175 degrees Celsius or 350 Fahrenheit. So, ang ating first step, isif lang natin tong flour. And then, pagsamasamahin na natin yung dry ingredients. Yung ating uh, sugar, yung salt, at yung baking powder. So, hindi na natin ito maigi. And then, we'll mix this together. Make sure na well mix ito. So, once mixed, We'll set this aside. So, yung ating flour, maglagay lang tayo ng well sa gitna. So, isama na natin ngayon lahat ng ating liquid ingredients. Yung ating uh, egg yolks. Yung ating water. Yung ating vanilla. At yung ating oil. And then, with the paddleless attachment, you may mix lang natin ito. Let's wait this along the smooth and long. So, make sure you scrape natin yung bottom. Para makuha natin lahat. So, ito. Smooth and lump free na yung ating butter. So, pwede na natin itong iset aside. So, in a separate bowl, using a whisk attachment, ibibit natin itong egg whites. And medium speed. Pagkagal itong bubbly na, pwede na natin i-add yung ating cream of tartar. And then, mix ulit natin ito on high speed. At saka na, na-reach na natin yung stiff pick. So, pwede na ito. So, kita nyo yan. Oh. Tayong-tayo na yung ating uh, egg whites. So, we'll, we'll proceed to our next step. So, ito na yung butter natin kanina na prepare So, using a wire whisk, kuha lang tayo ng a few uh, gallops of egg whites. Then, ilulusen up lang natin itong uh, ating butter. So, isang malaking bilog. And then, as a, again, make sure not to overmix this. Para hindi ma-deflate yung ating egg white. Otherwise, as lagi kong sinasabi, babaksak yung ating cake. Make sure hanggang ilalim ang ating halo. So, pagka ganitong loosen up na yung ating butter, isama na natin siya dun sa ating uh, egg white. Remaining egg white. Isama na natin siya. Sure na. Kunin natin lahat. And 
again using our wire whisk if we fold in natin yung ating egg whites at yung na loosen up na butter hanggang maging even lang yung kulay pag wala na yung white streak ng ating egg whites pwede na ito make sure na hanggang ilalim makuha nyo baka kasi nasa uh, ilalim yung butter natin hindi masyadong mahalo Okay. So, gagamit din ako ng ating uh, spatula para makuha natin talaga yung nasa ilalim. So, fold lang natin. So, ganitong even na, wala na yung white streak, pwede na ito. So, eto na yung na prepare nating uh, pan. So, isang buhos na natin yung half ng ating butter. And then, do naman sa other half. So, make sure na i-even natin yung ating cake. So, paikutan lang natin ang spatula. And then, taktakin lang natin para madalis yung ibang mga bubbles. This one is ready. Pwede na natin itong i-bake for uh, 25 to 30 minutes. Check na lang natin mamaya using a stick test. So, while waiting for our cake to bake, gagawa naman tayo ng ating yema frosting. And here are the following ingredients. Egg yolks, evaporated milk, condensed milk, vanilla, and for garnishing, kakailanganin natin ng grated cheese. May isa pang version ang ating yema frosting. Ito ay ang gagamit tayo ng dalawang condensed milk. Ibababad natin itong condensed milk na nakasarado pa sa isang pan with water. And then, iboboil natin to for 3 hours. So, hindi ko gagawin ito ngayon kasi masyadong matagal. So, I would rather have the first version. So, after 3 hours of boiling, so, ma makikita nyo, pagbukas nyo nitong can na to, kulay brown na siya. So, ayan na yung pinaka uh, icing nyo or frosting para sa ating uh, yema cake. Yung second version to. Okay. After mga 5 minutes, ganito na siya kalapot. So, continuous lang ang ating paghalo. So, pwede na ito. Pwede na natin i-switch off and we'll cool this down completely. So, after 45 minutes, magtusok lang tayo ng stick sa gitna. Kung clean na, pwede na ito. So, i-cool down natin ito completely ng pataog dito sa ating wire rack. So, hindi muna natin siya tatanggalin hanggat hindi siya malamig. So, our cake is completely cooled down. So, pwede na natin itong itanggalin sa ating pan. So, kung walang tayo ng knife, ilusan up lang natin yung gilid around it. Okay. And then, itawag lang natin. And then, tanggalin natin yung parchment paper. This is now ready for frosting. So, eto na yung ating cake. So, magpo-frosting na tayo. Yung ating uh, yema na ginawa kanina. So, maglagay lang tayo sa middle. And then, spread lang natin. Let's spread it evenly. And then, yung ating uh, other half ng cake, ipataw lang natin sa ibabaw. Then, lagay na natin yung rest ng ating frosting sa ibabaw. Tumutin natin lahat. 
So again, spread lang natin to evenly. So hindi enough yung ating uh, frosting para ma-cover yung buong cake. So dito lang siya sa top. Yun lang top ang ating lalagyan ng frosting. So once spread evenly, pwede na natin siyang garnishan ng ating uh, grated cheese. So yung grated cheese, bahala na kayo kung gaano karami yung gusto lagay. Yung isang version na sinabi ko sa inyo kanina, yun, yun sa condensed milk na pakukuloin. So, pagbukas nyo ng lata, yun na ang ilalagay nyong frosting. So, matagal lang yun kasi masyadong uh, mahaba, 3 hours na pakuloan. So, eto na ang ating yema cake. Makikita nyo, very light and fluffy yung ating cake. So, sana magustuhan nyo itong recipe na ito and share it with your friends. Hanggang sa susunod kong video, magkita-kita ulit tayo. Salamat! Bye!